Hey guys, how's it going? I uh, finally have a couple of interesting jobs to do that should take a little bit of time. Also, have enough experience points to get through the first upgrades in the game. For every thousand experience points you have, you have a, a point that you can use for upgrades, and every upgrade just costs a point. So, uh, I have a couple of interesting jobs here that are finally going to take some time. So, this one we're replacing almost everything in the engine. And then they have some tapping sounds coming from the engine bay and poor part or poor brake performance. They don't know what's causing the latter two issues, so we actually get to do some testing on this and try to figure out what's going on. And then over here, uh, we need to replace the crankshaft pulley, which is going to involve taking apart most of the engine. And we also change also have to change the engine oil and filter. Finally, we figured out where the uh, where the engine drain, or sorry, where the oil drain was, to make sure we don't make a big mess and how to do that properly. So I'm going to show you guys that as well. So we're going to start with this one, and then we're going to do our upgrades, and then see how much of a difference they make in the next one. So if we are going to change the oil, well, the first thing we should probably do is just drain the oil out of this guy. I'm not sure if you remove the oil pan if it creates a mess or not, but why take that risk, right? So the oil pan is sitting over here. Click on it to, to grab it, bring it over. And through reading online, what I found works best is to just look straight up and get about halfway between the drain plug and the oil filter. And then that'll actually allow the oil to drain in properly. So no $100 charge this time, that's good. So, don't need to be in here anymore. I can get this guy back in the corner. All right. So now it's time to take apart basically everything to get to the crankshaft pulley. And this little star actually highlights the thing you're looking for if you're trying to hard to find it. I'll turn it on anyways just to make absolutely sure. Something I was doing before was when I was removing all these bolts and stuff and putting them back on, it kept repeatedly clicking, but I found out that you can just kind of hold on to it. That's nice. Uh, crankshaft pulley is just sitting on the side. Okay. I did not have to take off the oil pan at all. Pretty sure I can do the rest actually with the car on the ground. So I will go ahead and do that. He wants, I'm assuming they want us to change the oil filter too. You never know. Some people are weird and they don't want their oil filter changed. But okay, oil filter's on the list. Okay, in order to take off the crankshaft pulley, we need to take off all the belts. Need the belt tensioner. Move the belt. And remove the pulley. Okay. Head on over to the computer, buy some new parts. Crankshaft pulley. And an oil filter. Serpentine belt, belt tensioner, and that serpentine belt. Now we just need to replace the oil filter. Should have taken it off while I had the car in the lift earlier, but that's okay. Put the new one on. Car back down. And put some new oil in it. So then you wait till it tips back up and then go for another second or two. One, two, okay. And escape. Sixteen dollars. Overshot it by a dollar. Apparently the ideal amount of fuel, or uh, I'm sorry, of oil in there is $15 worth. So I, they have a bit much oil, but that's fine. So I completed everything. 
finish the job. All right, now I've got experience points to burn. You can go to any of your toolboxes, any of them whatsoever, to do this. So I've got two upgrade points available. So the thing we're going to do is go with fast unbolting and OBD scanner. So work in the car a little bit faster than some of the parts that I might not be able to figure out what's wrong with them. The OBD scanner might be able to figure it out. So. This whole list of things that needs to get fixed, plus a whole bunch of other stuff too. So what we can do is we can take it out to a test track, figure out what's wrong with it. Cannot start the engine. So all the stuff that's wrong with the engine, I gotta fix it first. Okay. So we need three pistons with connecting rods. We need four spark plugs. We need a serpentine belt. V8, a timing chain for a V8, and a valve push rod. I will probably forget all that by the time I get to order it all. Let's see here, we need three of these. And I forgot a couple of things. I knew one of them was a serpentine belt, but I couldn't remember if it was A or B. Serpentine belt A and valve push rod. Serpentine belt A and valve push rod. All right. We get to take this entire engine apart. Then we get to get, take it out to the test track, see what's further wrong with it, and then take it apart some more. This should be fun. Let's see here. Can I take the airfold manifold off directly? No, there's stuff in the way. I figured as such. Eh, yeah, there's some little thing in the air filter. Yeah, I was optimistic. I know. Oh, that went so much faster. Carburetor, old school. Holy crap, that is so fast. Intake off. This is going to be a huge job as far as money goes. I just spend on parts. And I'll get all that back in double, and then all the other parts I still haven't bought yet. It's intense, man. Okay, which spark plugs are bad? Those two, definitely. I'm gonna have to take it all apart if I'm gonna get in here eventually, anyways. Let's see, you still have to probably take the rocker arms all off. Yes. And the push rods. Which push rod's bad? It's not one on this side. To take it all apart if I'm going to get in to get to the, uh, the pistons that need to get replaced. Uh, I'm going to be really mad if none of them are on this side, though. Can't really know until you get in there. so fast I'm forgetting what I need to do. Alright, at least one piss on this side is bad. Got that going for me. Now and I need to take the oil pan off. Mm. 
Uh, I've got the money right now. Let's see what happens. If you just take the oil pan off, does it result in the oil cleanup fee? Yes, it does. All right. I'm not sure what that was all about. Can I take this belt off immediately? No. You need to take the radiator fan off? You need to put the car back down to do that. off. Can I take you off now? Yes. Yes, I can. Okay. Put the new one in. One of the new ones. And not quite sure if I'm done. I don't want to quite put back the entire thing together yet, just in case I'm not fully done. Yeah, you can see two spark plugs right here already. You can tell those are the other two that need to get replaced. And this is a DLC car right here, so the normal progression of the game is a little bit weird right here because I've almost exclusively been working on inline four cars now, and then suddenly there's this behemoth of a V8 in here in a classic car, and everything's broken. Still gotta take the exhaust manifold off. Alright. Now I can take the head off. And can I remove them? Yes. them back in. Valve push rod, timing chain. Where's the timing chain? Probably have to take more stuff apart. Good thing I looked, because I was about to put the entire engine back together. Timing chain is underneath this cover. Everything has to be taken off. Cool. That, I have to get to that. Timing cover, crankshaft pulley, serpentine belt. Now I can put a new timing chain on, and then put the rest of the engine together. That could have been very bad. Uh, I don't need you to show me a timing chain anymore. Thank you. It's a really nice feature, otherwise I would have no idea on this car where it was. put the rest of this engine together and take it out to the test track and see what else is wrong with it so I can take apart the engine some more.
Not quite sure where the bad one was I removed, but I'm pretty sure I removed all the push rods by now. At least I sure hope I have. Oh man, one side of this V8 is going to have really awesome push rods, and the other side of it's going to be not as good. Oh well. Anything else on this side that needs to go back in? Doesn't look like it. Other side of the engine. Come on. I cannot believe how much faster those things go in. It's like three times faster. And let's see here, ignition wires. Engine head. Nope, nope. Gotta put all the push rods and rocker arms back on. There's apparently the other push rod I removed that was in bad shape. So, if I had to take them all out, obviously I removed the one that was bad. Can't help but be a little bit concerned about it though. I gotta say, I'm really glad that this, this game gives you the silhouettes of everything that needs to get back in there, because, I mean, I'm familiar with how an engine works, but I don't know down to every nut and bolt all the exact parts that are going in here. I'd be a little lost without it. Alright, this rocker arm's 27%. Rocker arm was not one of the things on the list. Yeah. She go buy a new rocker arm. We definitely discovered the thing that didn't work. Alright, so then I don't have to completely take apart the engine again. That'll be good. Still have to go on the test track. Figure out what's wrong with the brakes. Good thing I noticed that too. I was just kind of blindly going for it. So many fasteners. Something I never really realized before I started working for real as an engineer was just how many fasteners there are in just about anything holding it all together. Just in the in the helicopter gearboxes I used to design, I mean thousands of fasteners just in one gearbox. It's insane. All right. I think everything's together again. We'll find out. Ah, I didn't put the oil pan back on it. And therefore there's no oil in it. Just the little things. I don't think the car needs oil. Nope, definitely not. 
Alright, where's the oil cap in this guy? There it is. A little low, but that's okay. The other one was a little high. There's not one on the other side, is there? Nope. Nope, there's not. Okay. Third time's a charm. All right, going on our first test drive that, you know, we need to do. When I first booted it up, I accidentally took a car on a test drive without realizing that the first cars tell you exactly what's wrong with them and what you need to do to them. And that dubstep music can be really annoying sometimes, but then when it's not on because the game's loading, you don't realize how much you missed it. Just some kind of background music going on. Wish it was a better soundtrack. Not a big fan of dubstep, but hey, that's just me. Why is it in kilometers per hour? I gotta see if I can fix that. Don't crash this guy's classic car. Not getting the best of frame rates right now. Alright. That was really nerve wracking. Hopefully, that identified the parts that were wrong. Or not wrong, but broken and needing replacing. Brake shoe. It's a brake shoe. Except not all the parts have been discovered. Sweet. That's something that can be done with the test, uh, the path test. You need to have fifteen thousand dollars to buy the path test. Used to yell at me for I needed 2,500 experience. Now it's yelling at me that I need money to buy the path test. Cool. All right. Well, would at least tell us what side we need to be investigating to know what side. Yes. Okay, that side. So we're just gonna hope that it's everything on this side. for OBD scanner. This car doesn't have OBD port. Okay. So I guess that's just engine stuff. Like I said, not the most car type person you'll ever meet in your life. And that brake shoe is definitely messed up. But none of the rest of this brake stuff looks bad up here. So we'll replace that brake shoe right now. Put that corner back together. Take apart the others.
need this highlighted anymore. Um, nothing in there looks bad. Brake shoes look good. So, put that back on. Hub that's looking bad. So it looks like. Or maybe that's the rotor. Maybe those brake pads were kind of bad looking too. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, brake disc ventilated, seven percent, not good. Brake pads, seventy-five percent. Brake caliper, seventy-four percent. What's his threshold? Seventy-three percent. So yes, we discovered that ventilated brake discs. So there's almost definitely something else in the front right, but we'll put the front left back together first. Something underneath there in the front right's not good. Definitely looks like the caliper. Perhaps the pads as well. Yeah, 1%, 29%. Those are the last two things that need to get fixed. And then that should be everything. is for completing the job. That would only show up if I literally fixed everything, and it looks like I have. That was an awesome job. Had to take apart the entire engine. Pretty awesome. Let's finish that job. 2300 bucks. Alright, we're almost halfway to getting this, this test stand, this path test. I think it's mostly like a shaker rig type thing. I'm not quite sure, but I guess we'll find out and I suppose you'll find out when I put up another video because I think that is the next one I will put up is whenever we get to figure out what's going on here. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.